aspartame and caramel color causes mitochondrial mutation, new plasma, especially brain tumor and leukemia. Two weeks ago, the FDA have put a law uh, preventing all Coca-Cola industry and Pepsi Cola and Sport Cola to put any caramel colors because of that. Direct and indirect cellular effect of aspartame on the brain. And as you could see in here that aspartame ingestion might be involved in the pathogenesis of mental disorder and also in cognitive learning and emotional functioning. Causes specific of cardiovascular risk associated with non steroidal anti-inflammatory. Another problem that you're not aware of. You decided to go to play golf, or your mother-in-law is coming, you decided to clean the house, or your son wants you to play with him um, in the garden, and suddenly you had a sprained ankle or a sprained back, and you decided to treat yourself. So what you have given to yourself? A diphene tablet or uh, any of that stuff. And what happened that the finding was that non steroidal anti-inflammatory, much probably the diphene, Voltron, Cerebrex, whatever you call it, are associated with increased cardiovascular mortality and, mor and morbidity and should be used in caution. This is a normal, healthy individual. Fractose and the metabolic disorder, new finding and new questions. The sweetened beverage is a disaster. By law, uh, thanks to Michelle Obama, they cannot put any of this vending machine in any of the primary or secondary school except if it's sugar free. We don't have that in here. Four years ago, I was said that in the Irish Times, I've been called on by the general manager of my hospital asking me why I could say something like this. There is no proof in anything that I've frightened people about sugar. Today, in the dial, they're discussing putting tax in sugar. In 1980, in this country, there was no sugar in the bread. Currently today, 27% of your bread have sugar in it. And that's unacceptable. Effects of stevia, aspartame, and sucrose. I was talking about your problem with the aspartame. EU regulation have approved since January this year stevia. It's a brand new natural sweetener. It's better than aspartame without doubt. Anything have complication, but at least you have something better than what you have now. Effect of long-term ingestion of aspartame on hypothalamic uh, neuropeptides, plasma leptin, and body weight gain and composition. You ask yourself, oh God, I put on weight, I'm starting drinking Diet Coke, but I'm still putting on weight. The reason for that, the aspartame goes and activates something in the hypothalamus that make you put on weight. It has nothing to do with your calories. And that's why another side effect. So Diet Coke is as not as it used to be said about. Sugar sweetened beverage and the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes, all of you know about it. But the whole idea in this recommendation from the Physiology and Behavior Journal that been published last year is that drinking water or milk is much more appropriate than drinking any of this. When you go to a, a restaurant and asking for an apple juice or an orange juice, Asking fresh squeeze, do not take it from the bottle. For every 100 grams of, or 100 mils of that squeeze, there is 35% of sugar. That means that you're taking seven spoons in sugar in that. And that's crazy. Toxic truth about sugar. This is published in Nature of March of this year. Three weeks ago, exactly, this was being published. And what they found that sugar cons consumption is linked to the rise in non-communicable diseases, basically um, uh, cancer. Sugar affects the body, can be similar to those of alcohol, means addiction. Regulation could include tax, which we are trying to push in here. There's a lot of resistance from the multinational. Limiting sales during school hours and placing age limit on purchase, and which meaning that you do not give it to somebody below 18 years of age. Very good study from Finland. They are the highest instance of type 1 diabetics in the world. 26% of baby bones in Finland have type 1 diabetes. They didn't know why. And they kept looking and looking and looking and looking. And believe it or not, the whole reason for that is a very clean environment. It's an autoimmune disease. So, I'm not talking about type 1 diabetic. It's completely different than type 2 diabetic. Type 1 diabetic is an autoimmune disease. 
type 2 diabetic is a problem and it's reversible. So this is the uh, daily, daily effect of chronic ethanol exposure, which is basically alcohol, which is a major problem in Ireland, versus chronic fructose exposure. So both of them causes hypertension. The, uh, uh, taking the uh, sweetened drink through the uh, uric acid cycle. Both of them causes MI. Both of them causes increase in the bad cholesterol. Both of them causes pancreatitis. Both of them causes obesity. Both of them causes malnutrition. Both of them causes hepatic dysfunction. So why you say that you're not allowed to sell alcohol to somebody who is under 21 or 18 and you're allowed to sell sugar. Both of them cause the same disaster for the patient. 